Hello guys, today I am back with another ROM review. Today it is about the Omega ROM V15 version 15 based on under 5.0 Lollipop for the Samsung Galaxy S5, G900F, G900i, G900T and some other mo models. So first of all what you need to do, oh I'm sorry, wait a moment. You need to go into recovery mode by holding volume up, power button and the home button at the same time, press and hold them until you see the Galaxy S5 logo, this one and you will see this right here recovery rebooting, recovery is not seen under and you have to have a rooted device and a custom recovery installed on your device so first of all what you need to do is wipe data slide factory reset if you are on fills you will get two options clean to install a new ROM but I prefer the wipe data slash factory reset option so select this then hit yes wipe all user data So wait for it to wipe, yep. Then wipe cache select, uh, uh, yep, sorry, wipe cache. Then go to advanced and then wipe Dalvik cache. Then go back and install zip. And whether it's your choice, if you have it on your SD card, then select SD card one. But I have it on my SD card, so I will select SD card. Then I, I have it on the download folder, so I'm going to select the download. And here's the ROM G900F Omega V16 XXU VU blah blah blah. Select like this, hit install. So if you're uh, using the G900F model, you don't need to update the bootloader and whatever. So this will take you straight to the Omega installer, Aroma installer. Sorry, so here, here you can see. It says here there's only one option so hit that next and then it will also ask you which model do you have the G900F, the G900i, MTRW8 so these are the supported models so uh, hit next then it will ask you if you want to wipe your wipe or don't if you don't want to wipe I prefer you should you select the full wipe because you already have wiped the phone so I prefer the kernel should be the Omega kernel so select the Omega kernel that would be good if you want to snap your performance so hit next and then it will ask you to select a, a CSC so if you don't know your CSC then you should go with the default BTU one hit next and here you have the option to select the uh, additional apps like these are the google apps and when you will hit next then here is a uh, uh, good thing too that you can also select the stock apps you can also remove the bloatware or if you want to keep the bloatware keep it as it is but there are lots of uh, uh, apps right, uh, like uh, voice recorder wallpaper picker as voice as translator as ss all these samsung apps so i want all of these so i will hit next and now it says what, what widgets do you want i want all of them so i will hit next and then it is asking for you uh, some additional apps like dolphin browser es file explorer flash player high quality mp3 recorder hide it pro and some other apps so all of the, all are goodies so i will select all of them then hit next and then hit install so we will wait for it to install i will keep the phone so let me tell you one thing right away that the boot up does takes long time it takes uh, 10 to 15 minutes to so don't panic it will install okay so i'm going to pause the video till it installs the rom and another thing i want you to talk to you about is that as you know if you watched my liquid smooth rom video that i had liquid smooth rom earlier and the biggest problem with that rom was that i was not getting the perfect gaming performance it was lagging a lot in uh, gaming so that was the biggest drawback for me so that's why uh, that's why i found this rom and i installed it right away so now it's installed hit next right here hit next then hit end it says reboot device hit end and then it will reboot the device so as i told you earlier the first boot up does take some time it takes about 10 to 15 minutes so be patient 
and wait for it to boot up so i'm going to pause the video till it boots up okay guys so i'm back and it's still booting but let me tell you one thing that with uh, lots of aosp roms you're not also able to upload videos so videos or pictures to instagram that's also a biggest drawback uh, drawback with aosp roms they are fast but there are lots of bugs with those roms so when i tried to upload pictures on uh, instagram i was unable to uh, upload pictures so today in uh, the today's video everything might seem a little fast because today i'm recording in 1080p 60 frames per second so that's why everything might be looking fast so it's not still it's been i think five minutes and it's still booting so guys so the phone is booted up and i also wanted to tell you that if you're coming if you want to if you change your mind and you want to downgrade to android 4.4.2 rom then you will need to downgrade to android 4.4.2 official firmware and then you can install the android 4.4.2 roms because when you install the android 5.0 lollipop roms you will not be able to downgrade then so here let me go through the setup and we'll start and hit next yes no thanks i understand blah 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 it says checking connection so i will go through the setup and i will come back okay okay so i have already set up the phone and let me tell you one thing that the phone is a bit uh, warm so don't worry and let me remove one thing right away the my magazine thing so you can see the performance is very snappier so far so good and let me go into settings and show you that i am actually running android 5.0 so here you can see it says SMG 900F Android 5.0 version and the baseband version is BNL9 I can see Android 5.0 lollipop ah. so you can see the new search widget And new battery icon right here. Let me select the 12 or uh, what do you say format? So, yeah, now it's good. And you can see I've got lots of apps because I didn't unselect any of the apps in the Roma installer. So So this wraps around for this video. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. So I will meet you in the next video. Till then, have a nice day.